Hello everybody, it's Rhino and I am here today at the Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow, also known as Epcot, and I am here because it is day one of the International Festival of the Arts 2022, one of my favorite, if not my favorite festival that Epcot does all year. I'm very excited to check out all the fun, uh, the fun artwork and everything that they have around here and uh obviously that is not what this video about this video is about the merchandise so we obviously we've got to, i keep saying obviously i don't know what's wrong with me we have got to do a shopping video today i have no idea what any of the branded merch looks like this year but we are going to go and find that out together and see what types of things that you can find i'm going to start by checking out creations right here at the front of the park um and then see if there's any other stuff throughout the park uh as well and um, so uh, this could be a really short video. This could be a longer normal length video. I have no idea. So um, we're just going to go through it together. Before I get started, though, I just want to remind everybody that this and everything that we do here is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. They are experts at helping you plan the perfect Disney vacation. When you book with them, it costs you nothing extra on your trip and you help support the channel and all the content that we produce. So check them out at dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Now that I have said that, we are going to go fight through the throngs of people to try and check out this merchandise. Um, I, picked, I tried to pick the quietest area of the park, which is over here by Spaceship Earth to start this, uh, where they're building Guardians of the Galaxy. But um, I've heard that people are going crazy for that figment bucket, that it's like a five hour wait right now. So that is not going to happen for me because <laughs> I'm not doing that. Uh, and yeah, but... Uh, but yeah, let's just go in. Let's go into Creations. Let's see what they've got in there. All right. It looks like there is some Festival of the Arts uh, themed merchandise in here. Start right here. The Spirit Jersey, $74.99. Still that, I don't know. Quality's a little bit better on this one, but I kind of like the print on this one. I think it's cute. It says on the back, make a masterpiece today. Festival of the Arts 2022. I don't know. Title feels a little busy, but... You know, people are gonna get what they like. There's a bunch of pins over here. I actually just am attracted to the pin backing because it's so festive, but limited edition release. I bet Fiasco already bought all of these. Figment, and he can spin around on this for whatever reason. Oh no, just swing, just swing. $17.99. And then you've got yourself Festival of the Arts. That one is $19.99. I like this guy here. $17.99. So three pins I found so far. Okay. Pinley style shirt. It's nice and soft. The design is simple enough. I don't know. Not very colorful for an art festival, but $39.99 and then get yourself one of the plates. Or you could use it for actual painting because it's got the thumb some hole there. I'm sure that has a more professional word than some hole, but $20 for your thumb hole plate. There's a hat here. This is $29.99. The price of hats are going up. There's the back, Festival of the Arts. There's the inside. Take a look at the front. Got a little dance and figment here. Ooh, and I dropped that magic band. Fantastic. I am off to a good start here. Anyway, let's take a look at it. Festival of the Arts, these are limited to 2,000. There you are. There's the box there for people that are still all about uh, all about magic bands. I don't know how much this is. Let me double check on another one. $40, $40. Figment Turvis here. This, this is a pretty big Tervis. This is, and then I like that it's like Festival of the Arts on the side there. But this is $26.99. So there's also a pass holder exclusive uh, magic band here that's limited to only a thousand. And that is, let's take a look at it. Purple one. Oh, with pigment. And the brushes. Pop that back in there. That is same price, 40 bucks. But down below here is this uh, pass holder exclusive shirt. This is nice, thin material. The hood. 
I just, I feel like, I, I like how it says pass holder down the sleeve. I'm always a fan of that. I just feel like it's very chromatic, so it's $45. Um, so you have to like blue. <laughs> but uh, I wish it was like popping with a little more color. That's just me though. Just just my personal, personal choice. It's cute. So you've got some uh, Epcot International Festival of the Arts 2022 uh, note cards and envelopes so you can tell people all about your Disney vacation. Go fill them out in your hotel room and then mail them from one of the mailboxes at the park. If they still do that. I don't actually know. I think they do. So my friend Nicole likes to send me postcards from places. She goes, 10 bucks. I actually think, you know, postcards and stuff in the mail that aren't bills is really nice to receive. I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks that. All right, there is also this limited edition. I thought this was, oh yeah, it is pass holder. It says it right there in the middle. Oh my gosh. See, I like this like coloring of the ball right here. I kind of wish that carried through with more of the merchandise this year. Like that palette right there. Um, but that is $20. Again, I'm sure the fiasco has purchased all of these pins already. I'm gonna ask him when I see him. I am gonna race around this area really quickly one more time just to make sure that we got everything. Cause I know it didn't seem like a lot, but we've got, we saw the spirit jersey. We saw the Henley t-shirt. We saw the Tervis mug. We saw the postcards, the magic bands, the palette plates that I called the, the finger hole plate, um, the annual pass holder stuff. We saw all of that. And we saw the hat. So I think that is it for merchandise here. And we saw those pins too. Um, yeah, I think that actually might be it in terms of Festival of the Arts branded merchandise. I came back over to Spaceship Earth because it's just, it's too dark over in that Creations alleyway and um, it's a little more crowded over there. But yeah, not too much branded stuff really, honestly. And I'm kind of shocked. None of it's like popping with color considering this is supposed to be like a really big, vibrant, colorful event. It feels very kind of monochromatic and a little bland to me, so I'm not, I don't really understand the choices for that for this year, but I'm not I'm not a designer or anything like that, so I don't mean to insult anybody who might have worked on the creative for that. Um, it just it's just I I'm a loud, bright, colorful. Per I mean, you can see my mask, you can see my shirt. I like to I like to pop. So um, so let me do a lap, and I will update you if there is other merchandise further out in the park. All right, I'm back here in Port of Entry in the World Showcase just to see if there is more stuff over here. I don't think there is. I'm just gonna peek over here really quick, if I can. I thought they were only letting you go in certain doors, but I guess I was wrong. And so, here we go. Well, all the stuff we've already seen, spirit jersey, postcards, and then the annual pass holder stuff is all over here too. So, I think we might've found all the merchandise, but I'll keep going, I'll keep going. All right, I'm done. I did the lap. There was a bunch of artists around there, which was uh, great. A lot of really cool um, art stuff to look at. Uh, I didn't want to film any of it. Like I said before, it makes me feel weird to film people's artwork with like out there permission. Some people are okay with it, some people aren't. So I just, I don't want to put it out there if it's not meant to be out there. So, uh, but as far as branded merch goes, I noticed in my book here that there was an ornament that I was not able to find anywhere. And also what kind of bugs me is like, look at the guide. Like it's, it's white you know, kind of thing and colorful rainbows, rainbows behind me. There was rainbow signs all the way uh, around World Showcase. And yet I felt like the merch was just monochromatic and very plain in color, like I said before. So that feels a little like, eh, to me. So I don't, nothing really jumped out to me this year. Um, the only thing I kind of always like is the plate, thumb hole plate, as we called it earlier, the palette plate. But so I'm a little, uh, yeah, a little eh on it. But if, if you feel otherwise, please let me know in the comments of this video. But uh, thank you everybody for watching along. And uh, I hope everybody out there is doing well. And if you are in this figment popcorn bucket line that is literally going like around the park, they say it's like five to six hour wait. I hope you're doing all right out there, but uh, I am not waiting in that line as much as I would love uh, one of those popcorn buckets. But um, yeah, anyway, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, obviously, like I said, leave some comments and we can talk about some merch um, and stuff like that. Uh, if, if you uh, see anything else fun around property or want me to go anywhere, just let me know. And uh, yeah, that's that. Now I gotta go grab a couple items because I'm getting a little hangry now. So I am hungry. So I'll see everybody later. I hope you're doing well. Bye.